Hey guys, it's Brandon, AKA The Workman's Pomp, AKA Mr. Steal Your Girl. And today I have some pomade reviews for you. And that is Rosemary's Styling Pomade and Captain Bly's Original Pomade. Now, ever since I've been back on Facebook, I've noticed the uh, Captain Bly's pomade stuff popping up here and there. And what caught my attention the most are some of the claims that William Somerville, the creator, uh, brewer, and proprietor of Captain Bly's Pomade Company, uh, some of the claims he's been making really stood out to me. Basically, he's saying that his pomades are heat resistant or at least to a point to where they'll hold the style all day and that they're um, all American made and that the essential oils that he uses are undiluted. So basically, he's claiming that he has not only a heat resistant pomade uh, or a damn near close heat resistant pomade, but also a natural, organic esque. Uh, and very good for you nourishing pomade and so those claims were kind of a big deal to me because I always work out in the sun and I like heavier holding pomades so right off the bat Captain Bly's intrigued me I was gonna pick some up but I uh, lost track once I got back on Facebook but thankfully William Somersville on his own accord uh, contacted me and asked me if I wanted to do some reviews on his products and I said I would under the stipulation that if he didn't hold true to these claims that he were making that I would call him out on it. Uh, basically if someone's going to give me something free I'm really really super grateful of it but my whole point of my channel is to be upfront and honest especially with uh, new uh, pomades, up and coming pomades and of course established brands. So I told him yes I would be more than happy to review his products. So the company is Captain Bly's Barber Supply and the brewer is William Somersville and the owner as well. So what makes these pomades unique is that they are supposed to be 100% or close to 100% heat resistant. They're supposed to hold up in the humidity. They have um, American made wax that has a melting point of 165, between 165 and 175 degrees. And also that this is supposed to be a natural product that has undiluted essential oils. So let's look at the presentation on both these. And the reason why I'm gonna be talking about both these is I talked to William and they're both similar recipes with different essential oils. He said that he thinks this one is a little bit slicker and a little bit more manageable. Personally, I feel like they're damn near close to the same product minus the smells, obviously. Um, I've tested them both out, and I'm gonna be doing the review on this one, but let it be known that the, you'll get a similar hold, um, slickness, breakdown, et cetera, et cetera, out of this one. The only thing that's different, in my opinion, is the scent. The presentation on this, I think, is really cool. The story behind it is this is his grandfather, his maternal grandfather, and he joined the Navy after the bombing of Pearl Harbor, and so uh, William did a tribute to him. I think it's pretty cool with the little nautical stars, uh, the picture of him, the uh, logo or his motto, which is looking good never goes out of style, and then there's some information right there. On the back, of course, is um, his uh, little spiel about the pomade, which I've already gone over, the ingredients, and then how to get it out of your hair. And this is the Rosemary's Styling Pomade, uh, similar nautical stars, um, and this is a picture of his grandmother. I think it's really cool because uh, he tells a little story on his website about how his grandmother wanted to become a model, but instead uh, married his grandfather, had, had kids, settled down, so on and so forth. So he kind of did this as a tribute to her, and now she's getting to be a model. And no offense, William, but she's a pretty good looking lady. A similar presentation with the nautical stars, ingredients on the back, uh, pretty sharp. So let's get into the ingredients on these. All the ingredients are gonna be the same except for the essential oils, which I will, um, draw attention to when I get to it. So the ingredients are white micro wax, and that's the one that's uh, made in America, white petroleum, organic beeswax, lanolin, coconut oil, organic cocoa butter, eucalyptus oil, tea tree oil, bay rum oil, clove bud oil, rosewood oil, cinnamon bark oil. So there's a lot of essential oils in this product. For the rosemaries, this one has the white micro wax made in America, white petroleum, organic beeswax, lanolin, coconut oil, organic cocoa butter, and then this is where it changed. Uh, the rose oil, and then Egyptian geranium oil, vanilla bean oil, and rosewood oil. The scent on the Captain Bly's original is mm, really a refreshing, um, spicy, uh, the best way for me to describe it is like a cinnamon clove, like almost like a cinnamon clove rum-esque type scent. I wouldn't call it bay rum, just like 
a very, very slight rum after uh, aftertone. And I really, really like the scent. When you put this stuff in your hair, it doesn't come off as aggressive, but you'll catch hints of it throughout the day, which I really, really like. Uh, this is a great scent. The Rosemary's, the scent on this, it's kind of like a mix between, at least to me, like a baby powder and rose. And man, it's a refreshing scent. And I like too that this is similar, very similar, almost the same to the Captain Bly's original because if you're not a fan of a more masculine scent, then you can have this uh, more neutral to feminine scent that's less aggressive in the scent department. I feel like this is a little bit lighter than the Captain Bly's original, but still unique and still really, really good. From here on out, I'm gonna be talking about this pomade because all the scoopability, slickability, so on and so forth are the same with the Rosemary's. Scoopability wise, you can see that I'm putting no effort into it, and it comes out really, really easy. And for a heavy, I was surprised on that, and I actually really, really liked that uh, a lot, because normally I'm used to putting my finger into a heavy and having to break my hand, with exception to Goon Grease and some other great heavies. So the breakdown on this, put your hands together, I'm rubbing it maybe like two or three times, and you can see it's almost 100% completely broken down. For a heavy, this breaks down really easy, and I like it a lot. The application on this is uh, really good as well. Now, seeing as this is a heavy, it's gonna suffer from what most heavies do, and I don't know if you can see right there, but there is uh, hair coming out. Now, I don't notice it tugging and pulling, but uh, there is a little bit of tug and pull, although when putting it in, it's non-aggressive and goes in really slick. But like I said, uh, getting a few stray hairs here and there is uh, normal for a heavy base product. So moving on to the application brush, slicking back is really nice and easy, uh, nothing to it. And that's uh, one thing I'll say about this product that I like quite a bit is that I feel like this is more of an accessible heavy. Uh, I wouldn't call it a beginner's heavy, but I definitely suggest this to beginners. I know a lot of people uh, suggest goon grease to beginners and I put this right alongside uh, it as a suggestion. Slicking it back, same exact thing. You can see that uh, it's gliding through really, really easy. And another quality that I like about this pomade, uh, other than the fact that it's slick, is that I don't have to use that much. Normally I cake the pomade on, but for a heavy, I don't have to use a lot of this to get the desired outcome that I like. And that uh, was a big plus to me, especially since um, tin wise, this pomade comes in a 2.2 ounce tin as compared to a four ounce, which I know might be a turnoff to some people, but I'll get into that at the end of the review. The characteristics on this pomade are that it's a really slick, uh, nourishing pomade. I like when I put it in my hair, this pomade feels good, and when I wash it out, my hair feels nourished, and that probably has to do with all the essential oils that are in this pomade. Uh, never once does it feel like I have a heavy in, but it holds like a heavy, which is interesting because uh, you would think for a heavier holding slick pomade like this, this feels almost kind of like a medium or a firm, but it holds like a traditional heavy. Now, not a super heavy, but definitely a traditional heavy. So let's get into the style ability. This uh, is where this product shines as well. <clears throat> you can see I'm putting a little effort into it and I'm making a nice shape right now. Got my little ice cream cone going on. So yeah, I'm putting really no effort into getting a round shape in here. And uh, uh, it's really easy to maneuver around, which I gotta be honest with you, I was surprised. Not that I was liking the, the product a lot, but when I, here a heavy, I usually expect something a little bit more aggressive than this, but this is coming off really nice. And you can see with little to no effort, I got a nice round looking pump. All right, I think I'm just gonna put some big comb lines on the side right now and call it good. There we go. So this is a wax your base pomade, so if your sides aren't long, there is a chance that they might stick up However, I haven't really dealt with that that much because this is a good balance of slick and waxy that I haven't had problems with my sides uh, wanting to stick up, which is really nice. And one little thing I wanna tell you, if you have some extra on your hand, it works really good as kind of a beard balm. Uh, you know, I usually wipe my hands off afterwards, but this 
pomade comes off as really natural that you can put the excess in your beard and uh, it won't be aggressive, but it'll also tame stray hairs and uh, make your beard smell good too. And that's uh, one thing I really like is that uh, this pomade uh, can be used like that. And not all pomades can uh, be like uh, used as a beard balm type thing as well. So kudos on that. Longevity wise, I'm sure that this is where you guys are the most interested. Does this stuff hold up? Is Will good on his uh, claims of saying that this holds up in the heat really well? And I have to say, um, you know, it does. It holds up really, really well. As you can see, I've uh, used quite a bit of this pomade already. I've been using it almost every day at work and uh, I love it. I've had a couple of hundred degree days where I've gone in and out of the truck. I've been coming and going and I have to say that there's been minimal restyles. Now this pomade will uh, soften up a little bit, but I haven't had problems with it like falling out. There might be a stray here and there, but that's kind of normal. This isn't like a super hold. It's gonna hold everything into place 100%. He has a heavier hold, which I'm gonna get into on my next review. But this has more of the natural shine to it because of the essential oils, and it has a good uh, slickability, and it holds up really, really well. Really, really good with restyles if you have to, which this is probably one of the oil base that I've had to restyle the least. And I know without it having to be something super, super heavy, like Luscious Glory, to where there's no movement at all because it's just super heavy, uh, this is really, really good. Now my overall thoughts on these products are they hold true to their word. They're really good, slick, uh, nourishing, great smelling pomade products. Uh, I really, really like them and William's good on his word in that they will hold your hair and they will stand up in the heat. Now, if you're gonna be doing like extreme heat and jumping jacks and flipping your hair all over the place, of course your hair is gonna fall out. Most products would, except for with a super heavy. But if you're doing like a normal day's work and you wanna rock like a, a bigger pump like this, I'm pretty certain that it's not gonna fall out unless you're smashing your head against things. I mean, I was crawling under beds, I was getting in and out of the truck, I was doing all sorts of stuff and the shape and everything uh, stayed 95% uh, intact, which I was impressed by for um, what Will was saying about this product. My overall rating on these pomades are they're 4.7 out of 5. These are excellent pomades and I think you should check them out if you're looking for something more natural and something um, that's going to feel good in your hair as well as stand up against the heat. There's two great scent options and overall they are great. I'm sure what some people are thinking right now in their head is, oh, well these cost the normal amount of uh, pomade, like around 15 or 16 dollars, but you're only getting half of what you'd normally get in a pomade. And yes, I can understand why that would deter people. Um, however, because he's using 100% American wax and because he's using so much essential oils, you really are getting your money's worth. If you've actually looked into how much essential oils, undiluted essential oils are, they're really, really expensive. And that's why um, a lot of people won't pack their pomades with the stuff, but these are packed full of essential oils, undiluted. So you really are getting a good deal for the price. However, if you um, the price is still deterring you, there's a discount code that Will's running. I'm gonna put it right here, and you can put in rock and roll for 15% off of your order. So where you can get these at are at captainblies.net. Uh, give Will a holler on Facebook as well if you'd like. He's a super nice guy, super friendly. Let me know if you pick up this pomade what you think and let me know what you think in the comments and I hope you're having a great day and uh, talk to you later.